your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, all those people that you love and all of that, if they don't want to fuck with you, you got to say fuck them. You understand what I'm saying? Even your girlfriend, your wife, if they don't like you because of who you are, you can't be afraid to lose them. Click the link below to get the ebook, Looks Don't Matter, Seven Ways to Attract Women Without Your Looks, or go straight to MrLocario.com right now to get your copy today. Yeah, so, man, so I was tuning in, listening to the conversation, dope podcast as usual. So the question that I wanted to come at come, uh, with today was, you know, I was actually recently talking to Miles about uh a topic like similar to this mm. and what the question that I asked him was what what were either the books affirmations or things that you repeated or remembered on a daily basis mm. that got you to the point where you are today because truthfully said you know of course a lot of men don't believe that they even deserve the type of life mm. that you like have lived like you know enjoy enjoying sex with all these women, uh, having a wife and a girlfriend. A lot of guys don't even really believe mm -hmm. that they can even have a lot of success with one woman. Right. You know, they have a lot of drama with just one. Mm -hmm. So what, what have you told yourself on a daily basis to get you to where you are now? And it gets you really solidified mm -hmm. into believing that this is something for you and this is what you deserve and you won't settle for anything less. Mm -hmm. Well, I say, I say, uh, if you're going to talk about books, Definitely uh, check out this book called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. I think that's the name of it. What to Say When You Talk About It. This dude named Shad Helmsetter. That's a good book. You're going to go to Amazon to get that. Another book you guys got to get okay. is a book called How to Love by Anthony DeMello. That book will change your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys get that shit. Um, and as, as far as like just, you know, just in general, what it is is this, and and and, and this is what this is what I this is what I, I I learned over the years, right? Is that one of the things that I struggled with from back in the day? You understand? Like, because even though there was, mm -hmm. you know, like I was still confident about certain things or whatever, and or just in general, and I, you know, I, I've I've always felt good about myself and all this other stuff, but there was always this one fucking little thing that fucked with me. Like up until recently too. Like I just feel like I've like it's 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 been like years that I've been working on this shit, and it's recently been like sticking right. And one of the uh -huh. most important fucking things that you guys can learn that's going to actually improve your success, not with just women, but with just life in general, with all of the things that you're trying to do, right? And it's 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 very simple. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But it's this is really real, right? Is that you have to live your life a hundred percent, not 99, not 98, a hundred percent exactly how you want to do it. And you cannot give a fuck about what anyone else is thinking. And this is the last thing you can't be scared to lose people and situations and things and, you know, uh, like material possessions, whatever. You can't be afraid to lose anything. Do you understand? So, so what I mean is this one, when I talk about where, wow, man. right. So, so one when I talk about where it's like, look, you got to do what you want to do a hundred percent. Like what, so what, what I struggled with, you know, for a long time was this part of my personality that I know rubs people the wrong way. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of mm -hmm. times what happens is, is that I, I don't like to bullshit. So like, I like to just be raw with what I'm saying or whatever, but I understand that a lot of people can't take like real shit and truth because it's, it's very, it's very jarring because we live in a fake society. You understand? So what I would do sometimes is I would suppress myself and what I would want to say and do and, and, and express myself. And so what was happening was doing that sort of, there was times where I got depressed because I was, 
I was disrespecting myself to make other people uh, comfortable. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I would say, damn, well, you know, I don't want to say this and do this because I know that this person might feel this way or whatever. Now, I don't purposely say and do things to make people upset or get people riled up or whatever. But what I'm saying is, is that I have to check in with me and say, hey, listen, what do I want to do and say and how do I want to be to be happy right now? However, anyone feels based off of that type of shit. That's on them to figure out and to deal with on their own, just like I had to deal with shit on my own. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's one of the things that I, that that I that I understood, right? Then when I'm talking about where you can't give a fuck about what anybody thinks, right? Is that you really, really can't give a fuck about what anybody thinks to the point where I'm talking about anybody. Do you understand what I'm saying? Meaning even the most important people that you think are in your life. I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your sister, your girlfriend, your wife, your kids. You can't give a fuck about what nobody think. Do you understand? To the point where you would, if, 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 if your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, all those people that you love and all of that, if they don't want to fuck with you, you got to say fuck them. You understand what I'm saying? Even your girlfriend, your wife, if they don't like you because of who you are, you can't be afraid to lose them. Do you understand? This is what I'm saying. You cannot be afraid to lose people because you have to love yourself first. Do you understand that? Loving yourself first is the most important thing because what you have to understand is this, is that you can't really love people if you're attached to them. And a lot of times your attachment to them usually comes at the price of you not being yourself. So you have to love yourself so you can actually see who's really about you because the people who aren't really about you, they're going to leave. Do you understand that? That's what you have to understand. You see what I'm saying? So this is why I'm saying where you can't be afraid for the person to leave you because as a result of you being 100% yourself, there are people who are going to back away from you or leave you or not want to be around you because they're getting to see the real you. You understand? But the more that you're not being the real you is the more frustrated you're going to be. So what happens is this. Essentially, you have to make a choice. You have to say, I'm going to be me at the risk of losing all of y'all, or I'm not going to be me and just try to keep all of y'all around. Now, the best course of action is to be you and to have the people who's meant to be around you to be around you, but at the same time, still be detached from that because you don't need those people to be around you for you to be happy. You understand? You enjoy those people. You still love those people. And in fact, this is the funny part. You can't actually, you actually can't love a person if you're attached to them. That's the funny part that people don't understand. Because what happens is, is that if you're attached to people, right? What happens is, is that that mm -hmm. attachment is something that is the thing that keeps you from actually seeing the person. For example, if, 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 if I'm a politician, I'm attached to the people because all the people mean to me are votes. So if your vote doesn't mean anything to me, I don't even see you. You understand what I'm saying? You don't even exist to me. I don't give a fuck about you and none of that type of shit. So I'm, I'm, I'm relating to you only in the sense of you voting for me to get me somewhere. You understand what I'm saying? So now, how can I really love you if I'm attached to you being that voter that I need? I need your vote. You understand what I'm saying? So if I need you, if I feel this attachment to you of a needing of you, I can't love you because I don't really see you. I only see what you represent to what I feel I need for my ego or for what I need for to get this thing happening. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the thing. So the thing is you can only really love if you love yourself enough to be yourself so that you can actually have the real people around you to see, okay, this is a, a person who really accepts me for me. And then even with that, still enjoy them, but at the same time, be completely detached. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so that that's, that's the thing that 
gives me a, the, the extreme confidence that I have. This is why when people come to me and they're like, they try to talk shit, they're like, oh, Locario, how, how are you, or, you know, have an open relationship and your wife does this and this and that and, and cuckold this and nigga, I don't care about none of that shit, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I care about none of it. You see what I'm saying? None of it. But see, that, that right. comes from you really working on yourself for a long period of time. This see, see, this is and it go, this goes with the title. It's like we're talking about the attraction starts in your mind, right? But also all of it starts in your mind. How you view yourself starts in your mind. How you feel, how the 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 the, the fucking perspective you have starts in your mind. You, you see what I'm saying? So I'm not special. The only thing is I just have a different perspective. You see what I'm saying? And I and I gave that perspective through being brave enough to be a hundred percent myself you see what i'm saying and that's what it is you have to be a hundred percent yourself to really really understand who you are and understand who you are in these moments so that you can really be the type of person who's able to attract what's for you you see what i'm saying because everything's because this, this is the problem with a lot of guys in game a lot of guys in game what they're trying to do is they're trying to get all the women. You're not supposed to get all the women. You're supposed to get rejected. Some women are not supposed to like you because what happens is that there's only supposed to be a certain type of woman that's supposed to like you. And those are the women who's supposed to be for you. You see what I'm saying? You don't need the women who's not for you. And that goes even beyond women. You don't need the friends who are not for you. You don't need the acquaintances that's not for you. You understand? You don't need none of that shit. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game.